dear students today i am going to discuss about the numerical solution of the linear invection equation that is given by this particular equation the domain size is from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 subjected to the initial conditions given here we have to obtain the numerical solution by time marching with the first order of print scheme and the next vendor of scheme today we shall see how it, the solution can be obtained with the first order of print scheme with different coordinate numbers of lambda equal to 0 0.2 0 0.8 0 0.91 and 1.1 however in this particular video i shall show you the methodology to obtain it for lambda equal to 0 0.2 similar methodology can be obtained by just changing the value of lambda in our program we have to obtain the solution for different time levels starting from n x equal to 0 that pertains to the initial condition and at the different time levels of n equal to 10 25 and 40 so first we shall obtain the solution at time level of n equal to 10 so with the inclusion of the necessary header files the length of the domain is equal to 1 the number of nodes nx is equal to 201 since we have to obtain the solution for an interval of 200 and the size of the array should be slightly higher than the number of nodes so we are taking 210 count represents the index n that is the time level i represents the index of the nodes dx is the grid spacing xm represents the array of the coordinates of the discrete nodes uo underscore old m represents the array of the solution from the ant time level u underscore new m represents the array of the solution from the n plus 1 time level and lambda we are considering as 0.2 we are creating two input two output files fp is the initial dot dat and fp1 is the final dot dat the initial solution will be written to this file and the final solution will be written to this particular file here is the grid generation dx which is the grid spacing is equal to the length of the domain divided by the number of grid spacings which is one less than the number of nodes and in this particular step we are creating the coordinates of each and every node now followed by this we have to define the initial conditions in the first half solution is zero in the next half solution is one and then we write the output of the initialization to the output file fp so from all nodes i equal to 1 to nx now we have to carry out time marching so for here we are starting from count equal to 0 we have to solve first obtain the solution at when the count reaches 10 so we have to keep on repeating our iterations while count is less than or equal to 10 the new solution is a function of the old solution that this equation is basically the first order of win method as given in this problem assignment once we obtain the new time level for time marching the new solution has to be stored as the old solution and then it will check if the count reaches the maximum assigned level if not this loop will continue so while coming back to the initial steps of the loop the new variables computed in the previous time level have to be stored as the old variable before going to the next time level so that is what we are doing in this step and this process will repeat keep on repeating till count equal to 10 is reached and then we are printing the count level this is optional but if we print it we shall be able to see it in the output on the screen that our count level is increasing and it is exiting at count equal to 10 once we reach 
the assigned maximum level of count then it will come out of the iteration level and then we are getting the output and storing the output in this particular file for all the computational nodes one point to be remembered is that the first node and the last node that is i equal to 1 and i equal to nx these are the boundary points hence these are not part of the solution domain our solution domain is for i equal to 2 to i equal to nx minus 1 hence the update equation is also written for this particular range of nodes only and interchanging the new variables as the old variables also has to be done for this range of grids only now once we execute this problem the output you can see from n equal to 0 to n equal to 10 once these computations are done it is exiting from the loop and computation is complete and here is our solution say let us initial solution edit with notepad plus plus so let me copy this i can write this output to an excel file and then this is the final solution at uh, n equal to 10 so i am writing this output also to this output file this is not required this portion the solution at n equal to 10 so i am writing it here now we can store this output as say stored it here now we'll obtain the solution at n equal to 25 we run it solutions are obtained again the solution at final solution at n equal to 25 has to be written to this output file only this file these are redundant so this is first column is the x coordinate the second column is the initial solution third column is the solution at n equal to 10 fourth column is the solution at n equal to 25 then we obtain the solution at n equal to 40 file save compile and run we have obtained the solution at n equal to 40 yeah see so we are writing it here this is also not required so this is these are grid coordinates corresponding solutions at n equal to 0 n equal to 10 n equal to 25 and n equal to 40 so we can plot the solutions at different time levels on the same graph and we can see see as time is progressing the discontinuity is progressing towards right and also another thing to be noticed is that the discontinuity which is basically a, a, a steep gradient is changing as time progresses it is smoothing up this is the effect of numerical dissipation thank you